design features. This is an analysis of the first of the six piano pieces that I wrote between 1992 and 1999. Uh, they certainly didn't take that long to write them, but my habit is to work on things sporadically and over the course of those years I completed these six pieces. Uh, the first one is uh, what I call the ultimate G-sharp minor piece, and uh, the analysis uh, is my attempt to explain and talk about the way I think about musical theory in relation to composition by speaking about design features that are contributing to the structure of the piece without using any kind of musical jargon that one would find in the music schools. So this is my analysis of the first of the six piano pieces called obviously six piano pieces from 1992 and 1999. You will find a performance of these pieces with a score on a, another YouTube that is on my YouTube channel. The first piece of these uh, six pieces is the shortest and I call it the, uh, you know, the ultimate G-sharp minor piece. <laughs> the idiomatic uh, uh, thing with these pieces is, is very much uh, 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 sort, of, sort of reflections on other composers. There's a lot of that going on in these pieces. Uh, little hints of uh, sort of ghosts showing up of other composers, uh, homages. So uh, I won't get into any of that because I want to talk about the construction of it. Great. So if, if the opening phrase goes like this. phrase, there's a lot of stuff going on in there that's making that, making that very tight. The first thing that's happening, there's, a, there's these levels of, of construction going on. Uh, the first thing that's happening is, guess what this is? It's all made, all six. Now they're not all, they're not all the same six, so it's, it's, not, it's not all parallelisms. They're, they're, uh, uh, The level of, of the interval of the sixth is a, is, a, is a structural idea there. The other thing is, is you've, got the, you've got the C sharp on the bottom happening the whole time, so you got so you've got the pedal point thing uh, all the way up to here. So the pedal point is another field of, of structure. So you've got you've got these what I call design design features, the sixths and then the pedal point on the bottom, and you have, obviously there's a melody going on in it. Uh, uh, there's, there's a melody there, so you've got a melodic thing there as well, and the, the harmonic thing will come last, but you've got, a, you've got an inner line happening that's in that sort of like, if this were a four-part chorus, uh, which it would be probably pretty low voices, it would be all men if it was. Uh, I heard this piece by, played by four cellos once. Ooh, it was nice. Was that sweet? Um, <laughs> It, underneath, you can hear it. You can hear that yes. inner line in there. So there's a level, another level of organization in a way there with this, with this, it, it's a tenor line in a way because you've got the bottom voice and then that one. And the, the another factor in this, making this interesting is that this, 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 this melody here jumps in the middle of these sixths. So you've got voice crossing. So you've got that, you've got a, the, now the, the, when that voice jumps in the middle of those six there, you've got another level of organization, which is now, this thing is not just the, the four, the, the monodimensional four voices. It's, it's dimensional in the sense that I think Debussy is dimensional. You have this kind of multi-layered texture going on, which you don't have before Debussy. Yes. So you've got that, that texture going inside there. Also, that melody itself is interesting because uh, it goes there, then it goes up a whole step, and it goes there, and then it, 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 there's another voice comes in, there's a little ambiguity. That's really where it goes, and that's where the arrow goes, if you look at the score. Yes. Um, there's a, then there's, finally, there's a harmonic, there's a harmonic element there, which is, well, you can probably hear, what do you, uh, This 
moment right here is the only time when you have what really the harmonic background for the entire phrase is. It's one giant big C sharp minor chord. It's not Schenkerian, it's not Schenker, <laughs> but it's that's really what's happening. You can hear a Whenever it shifts, whenever these little units shift into what looks like the triadic formation, some other voice goes somewhere else. So it's like, I look at it as a kind of a kaleidoscope. It's like uh, C sharp minor, but we're going to like turn this Twist. kaleidoscope so that little subtleties happen all along the way. At the same time that all of those levels of organization are happening, the sixth, the pedal point, the inner melody and so on. So there's, there's this curious thing happening harmonically that really, really is a big part of how I think about te musical texture, is that, um, and then I got the idea, what's the most dissonant moment I can create? Not because I like dissonance, but because that's how music works. Mm -hmm. Consonance and dissonance. And, and as you said, suspensions, passing tones, inner voice, all of that is still working big time. Hindemith mm -hmm. was right about that. Mm -hmm. That's all still there. So I, uh, I started thinking, you can hear where it happens. Uh, the same thing again. But now here, this, the top part is the same, but now the bottom part is different. Uh, and then this jumps up here. Okay, here we go. Right. That's one. That's not so bad. There's the C sharp again. And then, this is, okay. this, this is probably it. So it kind of snakes its way around into that, that C sharp minor. I just never thought of it that way, but actually when that happens, all of those design features kind of like dissolve, and now all you have is yes. like C sharp minor. So it's kind of cool that way. It's so cool. it's textural, it's dimensional. It's dimensional music in a way. And it all springs out of Debussy's innovations, I think, where he would have, he would have figures that would become, that were melodies, mm -hmm. and suddenly he would start repeating that and it would become like a background. He could turn foregrounds into backgrounds. And he did it with piano music and mostly with piano music, actually. And no one ever did anything like that before. before. You could see the roots in Liszt. Mm -hmm. Liszt is really the basis of that. But uh, Debussy started that that's really where the fountainhead of modern music is. Because suddenly it's not just a, a texture of harmony, melody, and rhythm, and so on. There's a dimensionality there. There's like a, like a, I, I liken it sometimes to the Star Trek holodeck. Remember okay. how they would go on vacations in the holodeck? Oh, they'd yes. say, oh, let's be pirates. <laughs> they'd go in there and they'd turn on and be all in a pirate movie. But in a way, that's what Debussy's mm -hmm. music was like for me. It was like, wow, you can, this is an adventure in dimension. It's not, and then of course, all the perfumes mm -hmm. of the beautiful music he made. So you describe the dimensions here on, in this mm -hmm, example mm -hmm. you've played. Did some of those, almost like one almost came to you here. In other mm -hmm. words, sometimes yeah, exactly. you, you start with some ideas, but as you're Excellent. into it, either others become evident yeah. or mm -hmm. they, they, they get you to explore something maybe you didn't when you started. Exactly. Exactly right. What, and that's, that's the result of what I thought of as being the, 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 the research into what, what is the nature of a masterwork. And it, 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 to, to be able to f do something like that, that kind of is in that workshop of the masterwork workshop. Whether it's great music and all that doesn't matter. It's in the workshop of the masterwork. So th that's a clue that there's something happening there when that kind of thing happens. Like, oh yeah, that, that's true. The, the, the harmonic reality there kind of neutralizes everything else for a moment. But uh, let's see if I can finish it without going too long. So, uh, so we've got like, now we've got the phrase there. The next phrase starts, so it could be a repetition, maybe not, but it, it starts the same. So, okay, now at that point I thought, since it's a miniature, I'm in that Webern time scale too. <laughs> okay. This is the Webernian time scale. Okay. Uh, is that, uh, that's enough of repetition now, I've got to do something else, so. Is that right? Yeah. Same basic concepts there, but like oh, a whole other universe of, of harmony there. We're not in C sharp minor anymore. Uh, and, and then, and again, the same thing with the distance. Now I depart from, now I say I better do something really, this is like a giant B section. You know, I gotta do something different. And, and Scriabin showed up. Oh, okay. This, he's there already, <laughs> but this is. 
that's a very Scriabin-esque chord. And now the texture's a little different. It, it goes more four-part with inner voices there. And then I just transpose it downward. Uh, uh. You got that 6-4 feeling there? That's Scriabin. Now, uh, this just happened. Uh, and I pretty much know now what's going to happen now, because uh, it's got to be over now. <laughs> That's about all I got going there, so, uh, but look what happens. G, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, but it's the same sound as the beginning, except with this big thing here. No sixths anymore, except the world's an octave on it. Same melodies in the beginning. And the same alteration, this... And then just... Obviously, suspensions, it's all there. Everything is there, and then winds up with the G sharp minor. So, without planning it at all, this piece goes from the subdominant to the, to the tonic. It's 4 1, and it's not Schenker. <laughs> to make sure I emphasize that. This is not done from that point of view of, of Schenkerian analysis. This is just what happened when I started to deploy these. These ideas of of, of free 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 uh, uh, free forming, uh, working freely to form a piece of music by just using the elements that are it's a form of through composition really, but the fact that it goes from C sharp minor, four chord, G sharp minor is that right yeah one, 